All right, everybody, welcome to the call today. This is Scott Pierce at Listing Sleeves, and we're going to be going through database mastery and what to do with your database this week, both in emails and phone calls. Also, we can talk about texting as well, um, because there's a lot of stuff in Listing Sleeves that can really help you leverage your database. So Listing Sleeves has quite a bit of stuff for you. Real quickly, let me just walk through a few of the things before we get into it. So we have automated buyer and seller email campaigns, actually in English and Spanish. We have over a hundred email blasts for different things like listings, the PDF guides, different landing pages, and a few other things as well. We have an AI text follow-up beta that started last week and going live either later this week or maybe next Monday. It's actually working pretty good. I want to get more leads through it, but we are seeing good conversations actually at really about the rate I was expecting, actually pretty good stuff there. And so I think that's going to be working out really well. The cool thing about the AI is it's not trying to do too much. Like some of these systems, I evaluated a number of different systems and I thought the biggest problem with a lot of them is they try to do too much. And so it starts sounding like a fake kind of a thing. This one doesn't do that. It just that verifies the fact that they inquired about whatever it was. It'll ask them if they want more information about it. They will reply back if they do or they don't. And if they do, the AI will let them know that's a great question. And we'll have one of our team members follow up with you. When would be a good time to reach out? And then the person will reply back something like, and, and I'm seeing it today at three o'clock tomorrow, right? Whatever it is. And again, the AI is not trying to do so much that it overextends itself and starts looking really fake. So I'm really happy with it. And I cannot wait to get this in hands of everybody. And it's still gonna, you're still gonna wanna follow up. You're gonna have medium term, long-term leads as usual, but this definitely is going to help you get through those leads that wanna move quicker. All right, it, it's pretty slick. We've also got tended text follow-ups coming. So that'd be similar to your email where you can send either like a mass text or you can send a, a, a single text to somebody or to a list. So that text will work very similar to email. And then if you do have a database or a list of over 1000 people and the bigger, the better, uh, you can create custom audiences in listing leads, which I'll mention a little bit later. And I talk about that here just because your database you think about it like an email or your phone call or sending a text, but if the database is big enough, or if you can combine it, say you have a big enough list, uh, you can create a custom audience on Facebook and Instagram so that our ad can be, uh, placed to those people. So that's a lot of fun. And here's an example of that. If you click the ads tab in listing leads, there's also a few other places as well. You'll see a blue button called create audience. You click that button, you'll see this pop-up that we're looking at right here, and uh, you can upload a CSV file. And again, you can, not again, but you can always send that to our support team and they can help you out as well. So we're gonna go through a few pages in the presentation here, and then we're gonna get into the account and we're literally going to do it. But first, real quickly, let me show you a couple of the key things. One is the follow-ups. So in listing leads and the blue column on the left, you click follow-ups and you will see you got campaigns, you got email blasts, contact list settings, again, English, Spanish, you can edit them, you can duplicate them, you can customize them, you can create custom campaigns as well. So a lot of great stuff there. And I'll tell you, the open rates and engagement rates from those email follow-ups is very high. It's a lot higher than average. And we've had very good feedback from our clients that are using this. Now, if you are using Lofty or Sierra Interactive or Constant Contact, if you've got a CRM, you can send your leads to that CRM, no problem. Click the profile tab on the left-hand side, and you'll see a button called CRM integration. And there you can connect any, I think every CRM uh, out there, you can connect to listing leads for automated lead export to that CRM. But that's still, we got email blasts and some things here that you're gonna wanna use no matter what. So stay with us. One of the great things that we've got is anytime somebody 
request a home value estimate for their property. It could be from the free home values landing page. It could be the property valuation plus landing page. It could be one of the embeds in a single property website, right? Where people on your single property website can enter their home address, get a home value estimate. They will be added to a monthly email that will send them an updated home value estimate. Or if it's not available, it'll send them the link to the landing page where they can request one from you. So this is a super, super powerful tool that a lot of people don't know about. So again, as people are filling out these landing pages or these lead forms and the other tools, they will be put on a monthly follow-up that goes off the first week of every month. So a great little tool right there. Another fun tool, and this is really more like for just for fun, right? Not everything is going to be about real estate. Not everything has to be completely engagement and lead gen heavy. So we create this email every single month and it might be a little bit late for this month, but let me just mention it so that come October, you can get this and send it out, but it's an email with just the top dates for the next month, right? What are some of the fun things going on? So you can see here in September, we had dog appreciation day, Frankenstein day, book lovers day, national sons and daughters day. And these are the kind of days I think that people may not realize are coming up this month. But for example, if they saw uh, national sons and daughter day, and they might want to do something nice for their kids or international cat day, and they might do something nice for their cat. So you can see how this can be a lot of fun, even though it's not like straight up lead gen <laughs> engagement. All right. And again, if you click on follow up, you'll see the tab email blast. And it's, it'll be right there for you. And you can either send it through listings leads or grab it and send it through your CM, uh, CRM. And that's a great thing. All of these emails you can send through your CRM. So I don't care what CRM you're using. These emails are going to help leverage your CRM and your list so that you're going to get more engagement from it. So another great email. If you've got a listing presentation coming up, you can add that home to your listing to leads account as status listing presentation. Not only will that create a 27 page branded marketing plan for that property that includes the image of the property that you upload for it, the property address, the seller's name, the QR codes go to that home's single property website. You're going to win every single listing presentation you present that in. Another awesome bonus of that whole thing is you get this email that you can send out to your database. Again, Lofty, Constant Contact, Follow Up Boss, send it through listings to leads. And you can create a pre interest list so that when you go into that listing presentation, you can let them know that not only do you have 120 people or whatever it is in your database that are looking for a home in this area. That's why we market a listing every single week, right? There's a lot of benefits to making sure you're marketing a listing every single week, yours are borrowed. But the other thing with this email is you can let the homeowner know. I also sent out an email letting people know that there could be a new home coming for sale in this area. And I got 12 people in the last 24 hours that would like to see this property or get more information about it. All right. So letting them know, and that's on top of looking at that 27 page, whether it's the online PDF or you're going to print it up where their home is on every page, they scan the QR code in that presentation and their home comes up on their phone. That is so powerful. So make sure you are using that tool in listing to leads. And the last kind of randomish email is your listings email. So we do have on the listings dashboard. There is a tab called more tools and there you'll see a tab called all listings email. I've got it right here highlighted and you can create an email based on the statuses and or individual listings. So I can create an email with all of my listings or just like my coming soons and open houses, or maybe my open houses and my solds. You get the idea. So, or even just all your solds. Hey, here's a list of all the sold listings that we were marketing this week. And again, yours or borrowed will show up here. So great email. 
your listing to leads, Legion signatures at the bottom of it, which is awesome. People click the image. They don't go to the Google map like so many of your e-flyers do. They actually go to the single property website. So there's a lot of great lead capture there as well. And actually, this is the last one. And I absolutely, in fact, I just got an email from a top agent down in Louisiana and he uses his listing to leads, lead gen signature in his emails. And I absolutely love it. So in your profile in listing to leads, again, you'll see a tab called lead gen signature, and you can copy this into Gmail, Outlook, whatever email program you're using, not like pretty much all of them allow you to add a custom signature and you can copy the code, put it in there. And this is even customizable. So the colors, the text, the links and all that, and get that into your email signature. So let our support team know if you need any help with any of that stuff, it's all super easy. And again, that L to L lead gen signature is so awesome. I see so many people using it. It's absolutely amazing. So let's go through the five emails for this week and the audiences that we're going to send it to. We want to have a couple of emails that we're going to send to our buyer leads, a couple of to our seller leads. Um, and there might be one or two that you send to both. It's going to be up to you, but I'm going to show you the emails. We can either send them or schedule them. And then we can talk about the pros and cons. So the first email is for listings, right? This typically will get the most opens and the most engagement. It's a new listing. It's a pretty picture. People are just curious. They want to see what it is. Don't sleep on this email. This constant low hanging fruit. So this is a great email to send out uh, because someone's going to say, I saw another house or how many bedrooms, or they might send it to somebody. So yeah, don't miss this email. There's also a database script that goes along with it. And so the beauty of sending the email is also to prep for the phone call so that when you use the database script to call some of the buyer leads that are in your database that are sitting there wondering if you even still do real estate for real, right? So that when you call them up, it is a, did you get a script? Hey, I sent out an email for the open house for having this weekend or sent out an email uh, for a new listing in on Maple Drive. So you're able to reference something that you did to increase engagement. And that's even perfect. It's even true in a voicemail. Whether we talk to people or we're leaving voicemails, it doesn't really matter. And then lastly, you're just going to become a better, more confident listing agent. All right. When you market properties haphazardly, once in a blue moon, who knows when or why you're doing it because you're not consistent, you're not becoming, you're not becoming a better listing agent. So every single week we want to be doing this, and it's also going to just bring in a lot more leads for us. So it makes us a better agent, but it also makes us more money. So we want to make sure that we're doing it. And here real quick that I just got, so I, I really want to point this out, right? The emails are like the foot soldiers, the phone calls are the artillery. You can have success doing one or the other, but it's a lot easier and a lot more consistent if you do it together. And don't give up in the beginning. All right. And when I've got this actually in some other training, but as you're calling people, and I'll talk about this more later, as you're calling people in the beginning, especially you are just learning how to become a better talker, how to deal with objections in a way that's not confrontational, but moving the conversation forward, you're learning discipline and consistency for the first one or two months, you're like the little grasshopper right? That is just trying to get through it. So don't judge your results, especially in the very beginning, why you're learning to get disciplined, consistent, right? You're learning to get more comfortable. You're learning to have a good attitude with calling your database and you're learning really how to not have such a thin skin when somebody hangs up on you. Somebody doesn't want to talk to you because you know your job is to find the next person that needs your help before somebody less qualified does. All right. If you don't think you're the best person to help somebody, then you probably shouldn't be doing this. So with that said, it is your job to find those people that need your help. All right. The second email you need to send every single week is for the pending or sold listing that you're marketing that week. 
Even if you don't have a pending or sold listing to market this week, you need to borrow one. I go through that in most of the calls. I'll go through it again today. But again, this is going to help set up the phone call to our database. So this is, as always, especially with social media, these are the best quality leads for the money. And the same is true for the database. Great quality leads. And especially when you're calling through your database and you're able to reference, hey, a new property in Maple Drive just went into contract. I wanted to make sure to let you know. I sent you an email about it. If you have any more questions, just click on the email or you can text me back if you didn't get that. And I'll be happy to resend that to you. What a phenomenal voicemail and email. If you're calling you through your database with something like that, right? Every couple of months, as well as sending out the emails, like we're talking about, and they see your social media, you're going to start getting a lot more business. And I got the last line there, do a video for all pending sold listings in your farm for extra turbocharged results. If you are on our Monday social media mastery calls. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So reference that video. Uh, it will be up a little bit later today at our YouTube channel, which I will point out to you a little bit later. The third email is going to be the home value update invite. So we're going to send this to our seller leads. So that way, if they want to get an update on their home value, they can. It's a great thing for people thinking about moving. And again, we do this once a month. So we're not going to send out this email every week. We just send it out once a month and usually around mid month, but it can vary. I, you saw the listings to leads, lead gen signature that includes this, a link to this landing page automatically. So use your lead gen signature from listings to leads to also get more home seller leads like this. And again, we're going to use a database call script. We're going to call through some people in our database and get more business. Now we were on the social media call yesterday, and I walked through how to create a custom ad for your IDX. So for example, whatever it is, the most common or popular or your specialty, right? A, a type of real estate that is your specialty. It could be vacant land. It could be luxury homes. It could be homes with pools, right? Mid-century, whatever your kind of thing is. And it doesn't have to even be a thing like that. It could just be homes for sale and Folsom just in general, right? If you can't come up with something a little bit more niche and we walked through how to create a custom ad in listing to leads, directing people to your IDX link, right? It's a great ad and you can see here, I'm going to walk you through how to actually take that and put it into an email and send it out as an email to your buyer leads. All right. Great way to get more motivated buyers. Some of the people are going to be moving. Maybe they own a home without a pool. And in this case, or they want a three bedroom instead of a two bedroom. So maybe you're advertising three bedroom homes in Folsom or your area, obviously. You're right. Cause we're going to catch up, catch move up buyers with that. And you get more referrals because you're talking to more people. In the last email, and this will be for our seller leads is the PDF guide. And this is a great guide. This week we're doing the ultimate guide to selling a home. Every week we alternate between buyer guides and seller guides, and we rotate in general between 16 guides that are the most uh, popular and the best engaging so that every, about every four months we rotate the cycle and nobody is going to remember what they saw or heard four months ago. So we've got the database or the email to send to your database. Great. The, these guides are also some phenomenal engagement tools for your database. I've heard great feedback on sending these to your database. And again, there is a call script so we can call through our database. And again, every week we want to try to call, even if you can only call five people, right? Just commit to calling a couple of people because you're only going to be able to get to 10 people a day, which may seem like an impossible task. If we can at least start somewhere, I don't care if you got 13 people in your database, that's fine. Get onto our social media mastery call, start filling up that database. There are free and paid ways to do it. There's no excuse not to do it. And then you'll have more people to call. All right. But at least start calling somebody because you're only going to get better if you start doing it. All right. So let's get into listings to leads. 
If you are not a client, sign up for a free trial. Go to listingsleads.com. Everything we're going to do today, you can do in a free trial. So I'm going to walk through the five emails. So I log in, I'm on the dashboard, scroll down. So here are my active listings. If you don't have your listing of the week yet, I cannot stress enough after 14 years of doing this, after watching people succeed and fail, having an active listing to market every single week is one of the key things that you can do to help ensure the consistency and get to success. So if you're not going to do this every week, you're really just setting yourself up for a longer term path to success, if at all. So get that listing in there, let our support team know if you need help, get into the mastermind group, ask questions. We're here to help you. We want to see you succeed. I'm gonna click market listing for the listing of the week that I'm gonna send out and call about. You're gonna see here, there is an e-flyer for your database about halfway down and let's let that come up here. And so I can, either, again, I can either send it out through listing to leads or I can take it and copy it into my CRM. And well, that's taking a little while. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so here's the email. And notice there's a send now. So if I click send now, that's my email, right? What list do I wanna send it to? So I can create these lists in under follow-ups. I can send it to all the leads that came off this listing. So that's a nice one. So there's, it'll be in the off, this little on off thing will be probably in the off position probably, or maybe can't remember now, but re regardless, I like to put it in the on position that way, every lead that I've generated for this listing will get this email every time I update the status. So right now there's an open house. So when I sent the open house, all the leads for this listing got the open house email automatically. And let me show you the email. All right. So. It's going to, in fact, let me do this. Let me click send test email. I always recommend doing this before you send out an email. And I will pop it up from my other monitor. And let me walk through why this is a great email. And this is way better than what your CRM has. It's way better than what your IDX has. It's way better than what your MLS has. But letting the people know in this case about the open house. These links all go to the single property website. And of course that popped up on my other monitor, but here's that single property website, right? That it links to automatically. Even the image, right? Beautiful little slideshow, that image links to the single property website. So many of your e-flyers, oh my gosh, I get all these e-flyers from agents. Oh my God, I click on the image and the image gets bigger. I'm like, what the hell is that all about? Or I click the address. Instead of going to the single property website, Google maps opens up. It's, it's hilarious. It's, are you trying to like literally not engage people? Most of these email e flyers sent via email are just atrocious. And then here you can see when this home is sold, it will affect your home value. So all the homeowners, they see that and they click here and your free home values landing page will come up. And it's got my email and my other monitor, everything keeps popping up over there that right there. Very awesome. And so that's why all of these emails from listings to leads, it's not, they're not the same as some other vendors or whatever. No, the e-flyers from listings to leads are better and they're going to generate more engagement from your database. And again, here you can see what is your home worth and my client review website. Let me show you my client review website. This is my listing to leads client review website, which is awesome. All my reviews from Google, Zillow, testimonial tree, right? They can see my hundred point home marketing plan. I got a client review video right there. My guides. Yeah. These e-flyers from listing to leads, they're not the same. They're not the same as similar quote unquote e-flyers from other people. This is why you want to make sure you're using the ones from listing to leads. All right. And then lastly, I'll show you copy code. I'm going to go to my CRM. Now I'm not going to do this for every e-flyer. I'm going to do it just for one. So watch how I do this and it works the same in all CRMs. 
literally, it'll literally take about not even a minute. Contacts. So this is line desk. Contacts, bulk actions, email contacts, email, right? Those all my leads. And so this is where the email goes, right? This is that big editor that looks familiar. Your editor, your email will have this button called source. Just click it and just paste, right? You did the copy thing from listings to leads. Now we paste, look at that, in line desk now, whether it's lofty, is that awesome? So I don't care what CRM you're using, just drop that in there and click send email and or schedule. For the listing, it would have been awesome if that had gone out yesterday, right? Mondays, we like to send out the uh, listing of the week. If not, do it today to your buyer leads. So let's get this out to our buyer leads. Right, a lot of buyer leads have homes for sale or homes that they're going to want to sell. And if they don't, then that won't even matter. They'll see this part and notice even the text code is in there. So if somebody wanted to send the text code, get it to their phone, right? Absolutely awesome. So either for the listing, I would send that out now as soon as possible. And then that way, database call script, all right? Start calling your database. These scripts are absolutely awesome. We've got more scripts coming. And I would actually take a look at a few of these scripts because some of the endings are a little bit different. And you may like one of the endings versus another one. So let me just show you here. So here's your database call script. If you sent the eFlyer and there's a version if you didn't. But of course, it's going to be a lot better if you did. And again, it's fine to leave a voicemail. Don't get bent out of shape if people hang up on you or tell you to don't call them back. The more no's you get through, the quicker you'll get to the yeses. I know it sounds cliche, but it, it's true. That's why it's cliche, because it's true, right? And you, you got to learn discipline. You got to learn to be consistent. And over time, you're going to get better at this, all right? And you're going to start finding those people that need your help before somebody else does and helps them. And probably doesn't do as a good job as you're going to do. And they're going to make all the money that you should have made because you didn't send out an email and make a phone call. Two absolutely free activities to do that so many people just won't do. The script. Right. Hey, Patrick, Scott here at Listening to Lead. want to let you know that we're having an open house at 15 Ambient Way in Granite Bay on Sunday, the 29th from 1 to 4 p.m. I don't think that's too far away from me. I'd love to see you there. I sent you an email with the link to the single property website with all the photos and details. I just want to make sure you got that. If you didn't, let me know, or you could text 10006 to 25678, and that will send you the virtual tour automatically in just actually a few seconds. With the way the market is now, I just want to make sure you knew about this open house. If you'd like more information, or if you want to get to the showing, let me know. And by the way, when this home sells, it's going to affect the value of the homes right nearby. So would Scott at listingsolids.com be the best email to send your updated home value estimate to? That makes sense, right? That was a little bit long, maybe, right? If I'm doing a voicemail, I might cut that down a little bit, but here's the deal. You're only going to be able to cut that down and get better if you do it, to be honest. Actually, I love leaving a voicemail in the beginning because I can get through the words. I can listen to myself as I'm talking. I can get a feel for, did that sound good or not? And man, if I start getting a phone call back and I think, what was the voicemail that I left them? And I can start really honing this in and getting better at it, but it's never going to happen if you don't. Do notice we got a few alternates, like I said, right? Now, maybe they own a home not near the open house listing. And it doesn't have to be your listing that you're call, that you're emailing and calling about. That's the beautiful thing. And that's why you need to be doing this every week, yours or borrowed, because you can do this with a borrowed listing. So here's the, here's the ending when they own a home, not in the farm area. So you would end that with, I don't know if you're interested, but I do free CMAs for all of my clients and VIPs. And this is a custom comparative market analysis. And I know you're not looking to sell right now. I'd love to do the report for you so you can keep tabs on what your home is worth. And it just allows me the ability to keep up with what's going on in the market. So if you're interested, I can send it to Patrick at uh, kellerwilliams.com. 
either a little bit later today or tomorrow, if that works for you, right? In the assumptive close, letting them know there's value for them. There's value for you. And that's what I mean is like, we get, it's interesting. And I'm looking to unify some of these things, but as you go through the different scripts, you're going to notice that we got some different kinds of endings that you may like, or you may want to adopt. Okay. We got the script out for the active listing. Next up is the pending sold. Let's make sure we send this at least, I would send this to all of my seller leads, right? I would send this to all of my seller leads. We're going to go to market listing, another home on Maple Drive. That's the pending listing that I borrowed for the week. 849 Maple Drive, that is my listing. So if you've got your own pending or sold listing for the week, use that one. If you don't, this right here might be the single most important piece of content. Notice I said content. This is not, don't think of a listing as a listing. A listing is the single biggest, single best piece of content you've got to generate and engage leads. And within the sphere of listings, pending and sold are the best. And if you don't have a pending or sold, you can borrow them. And if you need to get in the mastermind group to find out or ask our support team. But here we go. Market listing, whether it's yours or borrowed, it doesn't really matter. Here's the e-flyer for your database. And the, I don't know why the e-flyers are being a little slow today. I'll, I'll, I'll check on that and find out why they're. But here's the e-flyer for my pending listing or my borrowed pending listing. All right. As I always say in the training, I use another home on instead of the street number. So instead of 786 Maple, it's another home on. And then I don't use a picture of the actual house. I go take a picture of kind of the, the street. And that way it's like, a, think of this as like a micro mini market report. R, all right, MR. And check that out, right? Similar to the open house, but now we're talking where everything is in the context of it either being pending or sold. And here, right, I'm gonna copy code. I'm gonna go to my CRM, right? I'm not gonna go through this all entirely again, but again, contacts, bulk, bulk email. And then I would schedule that for tomorrow, right? Schedule that to get sent out tomorrow. And then after I get the uh, confirmation that it was sent out, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on database call script, and I'm going to call five to 10 seller leads that are in my database. Now, one of the things on this cadence, the right word, you don't want to call your leads too much, right? I would say, Hey, if you've got the ability to call them once a month, that's phenomenal. But if once every three months would be the worst, right? Some if you got 3000 leads, right? Uh, partition your leads. So you get your hot leads, your cold leads, your warm leads. Make sure you're calling your hot leads maybe every month at, at worst. And your cold leads can be more on a three month rotation, but pay attention, especially to your hot leads. And, but again, don't sit there and start calling your leads every four days because you've only got 35 leads and you're trying to stay up to calling on 10 a day, right? In that situation, focus on social media mastery to pull people into your database so that you get more people to call an email. So regardless, this will be the script that we're going to call our seller leads with. Again, it is a, did you get a call? Hey, hey, John, this is Scott with the listing to leads. I want to let you know that another home on Maple Drive in Folsom is now pending and expected to close soon. I sent you an email with the link to the single property website with all the photos and details. Just want to make sure you got that. Or you can text 102-129 to 2-5-6-7-8. Or just text me back at this number and I can send you the link right away. But the way the market is now, I just want to make sure you know about that because when this home is sold, it will affect your home's value and the homes around you. I just want to make sure that Scott at listingsleads.com is the best email because I'm going to send you a home value estimate update as soon as this property closes or later today or tomorrow. So you can see your uh, new home value estimate. Does that make sense? So again, owns a home in the area. Keep in mind, again, you're not expected to memorize and go word for word. It's only going to work if you take what we give you 
and then put your own personality and your own words around it. All right. So again, use what we give you as your kind of basis, but you're going to have different ways of talking. You're going to have different ways of doing things. So again, make it yours. So that was the second email that we're going to send out this week, right? The for sale listing. Now the for sale listing can go to all leads or to, to just buyer leads. The second one pending or sold will go to just our seller leads. The third email was for free home values. That is our targeted seller offer of the week. Every week we have a, a different targeted seller offer. This week it is free home values. Again, click marketing tools. And I'm going to schedule this e-flyer to go out on Wednesday. All right. Or might even, maybe I'll do Thursday, but I know I've got the ultimate guide to selling your home. So I'm going to send that one out maybe Friday or Saturday. I'll send this one out either today or tomorrow. I got the e-flyer for database. Again, send yourself a test email. In fact, this is a great one too here. Let me, I'm going to, I'm going to bring this up for my other monitors. Give me a second. And if anybody has got any questions as we go through this, feel free to type them in. Love to get the questions as we're going through. And Patrick, thank you. Patrick says he loves all the new updates. He likes the new updates. All right. So here's this e-flyer. Hope you're having a great week. August home sales are in and your home value has changed. I'd like to offer you new home value estimate today's technology. All this is editable. I can edit this before sending, but the cool thing is that right there, not only does it look awesome, that links to the, what is your homework landing page, all right? The second one, see all homes for sale. That's going to go to your agent listing website, which is awesome, right? So here, right, all of your listings, they can get your hundred point home marketing plan. So this is your agent listing website from listing to leads. And then it also has a link to your client review website. And then it has your lead gen signature at the bottom of it. Copy the code, drop it into your CRM, right? Or just calendar to come back here and send it through listing to leads to whichever contact list you want. So again, I could send it to all my seller leads or I could send it to a list. We're adding the schedule here shortly. So there will be a schedule button here, but again, or you can take the copy code, go to your CRM, prep it, schedule it. And then once you get the confirmation that it was sent right on whatever day you're going to have a sense, or maybe it's Wednesday, maybe it's Thursday. Here's the script. So again, try to call five or 10 people. Don't, don't sit there and try to say, oh, I'm going to call 50 people today. If you've never done that before. If you got the ability to do it, that's awesome. But I just want you to start with something. I want you to start with one. If yesterday and today, if yesterday was zero, right? Like literally, if yesterday you call zero people in your database, start with one today. I don't care, but I want you to do more today than yesterday. And I want you to do more tomorrow than you did today. And what I don't want is you to call 20 people today and nobody for the next two weeks, because that's just you're wasting time. You're wasting everything. So here's a script for the free home values, right? The, what is your home worth offer for people to get their home value value update? Hey, Sue, Scott here at listening to leads. I'm reaching out because I sent you an email with the updated home value estimates for your home for September, 2024. And even though you may not be thinking about selling your home, just want to make sure you got that as home values do change every month. Again, we got a couple of different versions here. Right. Here's one version putting together home value equity reports for my clients later this week. They'll be more detailed and accurate than the ones av available for free to the public. If you're the kind of person likes to keep track of their home equity, would Scott at listingsoleads.com be the best email to send your equity report to you when it is ready? Super easy, super easy. And again, leave voicemails, stay on point. Don't get bent out of shape if somebody hangs up on you. That is the price of admission for making a lot of money in sales, all right? We're not marketing people, right? We are not, we, we want to pretend we're just social media marketers, which we are, but we are also salespeople. So make sure we are doing sales activities. All right. So I will, I'll show you the fourth. I tell you, let me click this. I'm going to bring that up. So I'm going to show you, we're going to walk through the e-flyer 
and script for the ultimate guide to selling your home. So we've already got two things going out to sellers. I don't want to tell you that you got to send out three, three emails to your sellers this week, which it would be totally fine. There are literally vendors. I get emails every single day. There's a couple, I get two a day and it's cool because like updates and related things. So this is similar. These are not email. These are not like sales emails, right? What am I doing? I'm letting you know that there's a new listing that went into contract near you. I'm not selling you anything. I'm letting you know, I'm just giving you an update on property in the area. The home value update, again, I'm not selling you anything. I'm just, if you want it, it's here. If you want to click, get your home value update, it's right here. And this email is similar, right? This is the email that's meant to go to your seller leads, i.e. your homeowners. It's the ultimate guide to selling your home, right? If you follow our social media mastery, they may have seen the social media post. They probably, hopefully, saw your short form video using the short form video script. And now we just want to get that email out. So I would set this up for Friday or Saturday, the e-flyer for your database. And then you're going to see the database call script right there again. And again, we're going to be adding the schedule shortly, but you can either send it now or calendar it to come back here and send it on Friday or Saturday and, or well, not and, but, or copy code and send it to, send it to your, list. sorry, send it to your leads via your CRM, right? So why they didn't, what have you. Somebody says, great question here. What prevents these emails from going to spam? And they know what you're saying. Our emails miss most of the spam. And if you're sending out via your CRM, that would be a question for them. But our spam reputation, our email delivery rate through our follow-up is very high. So it's good. But yeah, if you got email delivery rates through your CRM, then obviously that's going to be a question for your CRM to ask them what they do about that. All right. Now there's one more email that I want to discuss. And then if you are all up to it, I could go in and I could show you how to borrow a pending listing and like literally walk through adding a borrowed, sold or borrowed pending listing if you want. But, oh, real quickly, I meant to mention this. In the mastermind group yesterday, Corey, over 100,000 GCI in 2024 alone from just one tool, the nearby homeowner letter. Man, $100,000 from that one letter. I've also bumped up a, a post, right? 44 comments. I would check that out for sure. Don't try to be perfect, right? Some, oh my God, it kills me. Some people, they will spend two and a half years trying to be absolutely perfect when the lift on just going through it, getting the idea and going out and executing would have been so much more profitable. All right. So we don't want you to waste time, but man, we got all the great training on this. So yeah, those nearby home the letters. Awesome. I do want to mention in the mastermind group. Also, you will see the webinar for Thursday, I think. Yeah. Thursday for expired listings. Absolutely awesome. And then this is what I want to talk about right now. So in the call yesterday, we talked about doing a custom ad for sending people to your IDX. So in this case, we're talking about a list of pool homes for sale. So this is an ad. That image is actually from uh, AI, which I'll show you in a second. So in listing to lead, I went to the ads. I did create Facebook ad, create custom ad. And then I just, we got the ad right there. And here you can see create an image of a home backyard with a pool and beautiful yard. Home style should be typical of Folsom, California. And I'm telling you, even with my bad writing, this, that was like, that was a horrific writing right there. <laughs> Somehow. The AI, in this case, it was Grok, gave me a gorgeous picture. That picture right there is absolutely gorgeous. And so we created this ad. And now what I want to do is I want to take this ad and I want to create an email from it. And it's actually so easy. So in listening to leads, I'm going to go find the ad. And here's that ad, Pool Homes and Folsom. I'm going to click view. 
And it's as ridiculous as just copying and pasting that ad. Watch this. Show ad, right? So here's that ad I've got right now. I'll show you this. So this was done through listings to leads, right? Custom ad. And you click it. Check this out. What is your time frame to buy? One to three months. Are you working with a lender? Whatever I'll say. No, it doesn't matter. Name, email, phone number, submit. It takes it to your IDX. In this case, I just used the URL to simulate your IDX. But how awesome is that, right? A great ad, great image. And you know what? Why would you not send this to your buyer leads? Just copy the text. It's like really easy. And then boom, I'm sorry. And listening to leads. I'm going to go to follow up. And you can do this in your CRM as well. And I'm going to go to create email blast. And there we go. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say pool homes or sale in Pulsum. I'm going to give it a nice little kind of a, uh, there we go. Island and some water for the pool. If I got a list or this email, sorry. And then if I got a list here and, or I can just create it here and I can copy it into my CRM, or I could just do what I'm doing right now in my CRM. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same image that I use for the ad in the email. And I'm going to just kind of paste in that text. I'm going to do this, I'm going to paste in that text. I'm going to format it just so it makes it look good. All right. So there's my text that was took five seconds, insert image and or video. So I'm going to, right. I already uploaded the image, uh, when I created the ad and so look how, and I can drag this down and listen to leads. I can drag that little box down. Look at this. So literally to convert an ad to an email takes about like under a minute. And now the last thing I want here, obviously, is the link that I'm going to send people to and grab your IDX link. So just, just copy your IDX link. And it is so easy here. Check this out. If I just click on that image, notice this whole kind of these options appear, right? Let me do it again. If I can, I can't, but click the image, your options are going to appear and the top right says insert link. If you just mouse over it, it'll tell you what they are. So find the one that says insert link and click it. Oh my gosh. One second. Let me, so here we go. Insert link. All right. What is going on? Let's try that one more time. I've never had this. There we go. All right. Never sent there. Right. So there's the link. So I click insert link, drop the link in there and it'll say open new tab automatically by default. And then if I want to get a free list of poem for Dylan Folsom, click the image below for the free list. Now I'm going to save draft. And then I was sending myself a test email, make sure those links work, and then send it out to your database. All right. Send it to your database of buyer leads. And then I would call them up and I'd say, Hey, Vanessa, Scott Pierce here at Listening to Leads. And I just sent out an email of a, for a free list of homes for sale and Folsom with pools. There's a couple for sale right now that are absolutely awesome. And so many of my clients that buy a home with a pool absolutely love it. They just tell me how, just how much they love having a pool in their home. So if you have any questions on any of those homes for sale with a pool, please let me know. You can either call, text, or email me back. That's it. You are doing a service right? You're doing a service and then you're opening up conversations. And even if you're just leaving a voicemail, that they're hearing your voice, that you're learning discipline, that you're learning to be consistent is all great things, all right? It is absolutely all great things. And so here, if I want to send this to all the buyer leads and listings to leads, I could just click schedule and say, you know what? Today I'm going to send out the listing for sale. So that's going to go out today. I'm going to call my buyer leads that. I don't really have any other emails for buyers this week. Yeah, because I've got the pending listing that'll go to my seller leads, the home uh, value update for my seller leads. And then I've got, so 
today will go the, we'll be the pending to my sub leads. Today's Tuesday, Thursday, I'll send out the home value, uh, the email to my sub leads. And then Saturday, <clears throat> I will send out the ultimate guide to selling your home. All three days, I'm going to call hopefully up to 10 of my sub leads and at least leave a voicemail. I'm going to send this one out on Thursday, the 12th at 959 AM. That's totally fine. Schedule. Select list and I'll say only buyer leads. And yeah, just make sure we got that good to go. Perfect. Awesome. Now I got that email scheduled to go out when I get a uh, confirmation that it was sent, right? I might wait like an hour. I'm not going to call them up as they're getting it. So I want to make sure they got it so I can refer to it. Then again, I'm going to call up five to 10 of my buyer leads. Hey, Scott Pierce, you're listening to leads, sent you an email for a Folsom pool home for sale, right? We just went through that. Awesome. We have gone through five emails for the week, two for buyers, three for sellers. We walked through five scripts for you to call your database. We talked about the fact that we're going to email a, because emails do engage, right? They are good to do, but the email is the setup for the phone call. It is the phone call over time. That is what is going to bring us more business. Again, if you got a big enough database, you may not have to call anybody because you got 20,000 people on there. You got that just happening. But when you got a smaller database or maybe even a medium sized database, or when business is a little bit slow, pairing up the emails and the phone calls is awesome. And even more important is making sure you layer on the social media mastery from yesterday's call. And so if you go to listings to lead, I'm sorry, youtube.com forward slash listings to leads. All right. Again, youtube.com forward slash listings to leads, go to playlist and the real estate mastery here. Quality sub. These are the three calls we do every week, social media mastery, database mastery, and geofarm mastery geofarm circle prospecting all right so these are updated every week the social media mastery i think is still the one from last week uh oh yeah no this is brand new 51 minutes ago so please like it please like the video comment on the video love to hear uh how awesome everything is so your likes on the videos and your comments go a long way in fact let me just go ahead and drop this in too the go to webinar control panel. So there we go. And again, John, that's where the, that is where the replays will be at. Sometimes I lose my mind and let me, I think we're good. Any questions on anything, anything that I didn't cover that you want me to cover anything I did cover that you got a question about. Can't believe it was so many people on the call. That is awesome. I can fact, what I can't believe is how many people are still on the call that started the call. So thank you for joining. I hope, please leave us feedback in the mastermind group. I'm thinking that this style of training is better than a lot of other styles, um, because you can actually see how these all layer, right? Social media, that's the core, right? That's what brings people into us. Database, that's where we're going to engage those people. A circle of prospecting and farm is where we really, that is, or that is so much more, that is so much fun. And how the, all these three relate to each other is what's critical because there's too many people that want to talk about hybrid farming or open house 2.0 or this and just forget all that stuff, right? All three of these relate like a business, right? Social media database. Geofarm and circle prospecting are all part of the same thing. They are not separate things. Where do I find the links that you dropped in the chat? Uh, I don't know. They should just be there, but I'll send it again. So this is the link to the video for social media mastery. So again, I'd love to have you take a, put a like on that thing. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and leave a comment. Would love to get a comment, even if it's a question about something. Um, but do make sure go to our support, go to our mastermind group, get 
on to this, all right? I am talking to you from 14 years of experience. The difference between people that succeed and the ones that don't or the people that succeed take this action. And as they're doing it, they're conscious of what they're doing and they just iterate and keep doing it and they keep getting better because you're only going to get better when you're doing it. Start doing it. If you're not going to do it, let us know what it's going to take to get you to do it. There's probably a question that you have. You're probably a little uncertain about something. You probably feel insecure about your ability to accomplish something. All right. Let us know in the mastermind group, how it is that we can help you to get over that because that is the only thing keeping you from success. With that, thank you for joining us. We'll talk to you soon.